Hey everybody, Matt Ruck here with another episode of Pixelmon in Minecraft. Today we're going to be talking about the new implementation of the flying mechanic f with the, uh, the most recent update, 8.1.0. The devs have changed how the, the ride feature, the, the flying feature for Gen 1 Pokemon works in the recent Pixelmon 8.1 update. Now, it's not super intuitive when you first start off, so I'm going to do a quick tutorial video on this uh, just for anybody trying to figure it out. Um, once you figure it out, I think overall the, the changes are actually really, really nice because you if you have a long distance to travel in the server you're playing, you can kind of set it to autopilot. So it flies like as far as you want it to and it's, it's really, really nice once you get the hang of it. So uh, let's just jump right into it. Alright, so to enjoy this new flying feature, you do need a Generation 1 flying Pokemon. I've got my trusty Charizard here and we're going to like ride him just like normal where you right click on him. And uh, you're riding him now, right? So f starting to fly is just like normal. You hit spacebar to like jump into the air. Um, with this new f like mechanic though, the four new controls for flying is the control button, the spacebar button, the W key, and the S key. And that's obviously for your standard English keyboard. So I'm going to jump up into the air right now and start flying. Uh, so I want you guys to focus on both the uh, the coordinates on the the top right and the bar on the uh, the right hand side of the uh, the screen here. So you can see right now Charizard's flying super slow. Um, and if you want to speed that up, you have to hold the space bar button. Now what this does is it fills up the gauge on the right hand side. So obviously the more full it gets, the faster he flies. And you can tell that just by looking at the coordinates on the uh, the right hand the top right corner. So moving on, if you want to slow down, you just hold the control button. You will notice that he also begins to nosedive. He slows down obviously significantly and he is nosediving. I, I don't know if the nosediving thing was like meant to happen, but that's, you know, that's currently the implementation of how they've got this feature um, working. So we're going to hop back up into the air and now for the W and S keys, um, obviously I said control obviously does nosedive you, um, but if you want to nosedive while going fast, you can just hold the W key and you also begin to like angle Charizard down or like any flying Pokemon downwards. So if I want to hold spacebar, hold on, let me, let me get pointed up again. I'm going to get my speed up. But yeah, if I want to stay flying fast, I hold W and he begins to nosedive even while he's going super, super fast. <laughs> um, and obviously... With that being said, if you hold uh, S key, he like noses up too. So he flies really high and doesn't actually travel very far laterally. Um, again, guys, this is just a super quick tutorial. I just wanted to show you guys how it works um, because it isn't super intuitive when you first try it out. You see the bar, you see that, you know, he's flying all over the place. And if you're kind of like trying to fly in one specific direction, like you know, autopilot kind of works, but he does move up and down randomly sometimes, at least from my testing. So I'm not sure if it's just because I didn't have it set perfectly, but it does seem like it's set to a specific trajectory and it keeps like ramping up as you're following that. So anyways, guys, I want to keep this video short. Hopefully it was helpful for you in figuring it, figuring out how to use the new flying feature in, uh, with the generation one Pokemon. Again, I'm sure they're going to implement it for all the remaining Pokemon as well. But they're probably doing this to like, you know, fix any bugs or, and things like that. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider hit, hitting that like button. And uh, yeah, hit that subscribe button too if you want to help me out reach my uh, 1,000 sub goal. So anyways, guys, have a great day and I will see you all next time. 